3位ああまあ、yeah. Welcome back to another video My name is Jason We are in Chengdu city And this is the start of my 24 hours in Chengdu And we are here in Qinglong Wetland Park And now this is not just a normal park, right? This is a high technology, highly advanced, futuristic park. I feel like I'm in the future. Hello, Xiaopeng Yu. What can you see, Kama? Hello. Oh, hello. It's quite nice to be next to the lake and to be able to enjoy your birthday party. And you wouldn't expect that in, in a city like this that you can come to a park that feels like you're in the countryside somewhere. Uh, and this is one of many, many parks in Chengdu that you can come and enjoy, just relax. Uh, it's the weekend and now I'm good to go. Wow. So you make sure that you run along these three lines here and that's the best place for it to track you along these smart cameras that are tracking my every move. Okay, so let's check out the screen and see how many calories I did burn. Ah, oh, wow, 300 calories, pretty good. Now this park here is closest park to the University Stadium uh, games that will be taking place next year in 2022. So let's go head over there now to take a look at the ping pong tournament that's going on. Let's go take a look. Here is the 25th Chinese College Student Table Tennis Championship, which is the highest level of table tennis competition in China. Hello. Hello. Ni hao. So I'm the volunteer here. Good morning. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Jason. Uh, oh, so here's my ticket yeah, yeah, to, uh, yeah, yeah. to get into the games, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so okay, let's go take a look. Way. Volunteers told me that Chengdu High Tech Sports Center is a multifunctional gymnasium with a construction area of about 80,000 square meters. Brand new stadium, yeah, it's quite big. And, and how many people can this stadium hold? What's the capacity? 10,000. 10,000? Yeah. Okay, so our tickets here and we're looking to, uh, for our seats. We're gonna head inside now. So I go in here, right? 202. Okay. 202. Okay. Wow, look at this place. It is just huge. And like an oh ocean, my God. right? Yes, I feel like, yeah, with the blue and it's yeah. like in the ocean. Wow, and they're all playing ping pong here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go and sit down. Now I'm really looking forward to next year's 2021 FISU World University Games. So not only Chengdu has the International University Sports Games Stadium, it also has here a place where inspired entrepreneurs to come and set up these kind of businesses here at Tianfu Software Park. This is the Silicon Valley of West China. You can see all the companies on the wall there and they have many different offices here that their company can use. Uh, and then we're just passing through some of the other offices here. So each office is a different company. And so now we're here at one of these companies. Now this is a games company. Now let me just see if I can come in. Hello, Ni hao. can I come in? Yeah, yeah. I can come in. And uh, can you tell us what, what is this company that you're running? Uh, we are a cross-platform game development team based in Chengdu. Can I have a try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. So what, what am I looking at here? It looks like a, a town? Um, yeah, a this city? is a map. The map of the map town. Of, uh, the and usually in one day, how long uh, are you working? Uh, we are working time is from uh, 10 o'clock uh, from a.m. to 7 o'clock. Oh wow, yeah, so quite, so quite long, yeah, quite a long hour when you need Maybe. to get the game finished on time, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, because making games is have lots of fun. Lots of people is very good and uh, they are talented. Oh uh, yeah, 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 so they will inspire you yeah. Yeah, as well to, to make some more, some better games than you yeah. ever made before. Yeah. So here we are at Xiao Jia He. So you can see here there's people enjoying just playing chess uh, on a weekend. Maybe you can get your ears uh, 
cleaned out as well. Traditional Chengdu uh, ear cleaning. Enjoy a coffee, enjoy a tea. Uh, and tea culture has really soaked this city. They make it tea like one cup. Just like one cup. Wow, just look at this. I've never seen anything like it. It's in some kind of strange little basket here. You got coffee on a basket. You have coffee, but it's combined. They put it in a tea cup, which uh, is kind of strange. So let me have a little taste of it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good to enjoy on uh, this sunny day, especially for tea. For thousands of years, people have enjoyed tea here in Chengdu. And usually it was the older generation but now more and more of the younger generation is coming here along these streets alongside the river to relax and also enjoy a tea or maybe even a coffee too. If you were to ask a local Chengdu native here where you can find the best Chengdu street food, they're going to tell you to come here on this street, Huixing Lo, and you can find all types of the best Chengdu delicacies. So there's so many different uh, restaurants from so many different countries here that you actually don't need to go overseas. You don't need to leave China. You can just stay here in Chengdu and experience all those different types of food. Uh, so now I'm gonna head over and let me find a pizza place. Pizza man. Let's take a look inside. Wow. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Abby, right? Oh, I'm Jason. Yeah. Nice so you meet. are the pizza man, right? So I would like to try some of your pizza. I must try it. Okay. It's spicy, like... It's hot in that kitchen. It's a tough life to be a chef. So it's all finished boiling now, so we have the ingredients. And so what is the next stage now, Abby? Uh, flying the pizza dough up in the air. Um, but obviously I'm not an expert, so I've got a little mini, mini training dough here. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, Pr press it down. Okay. Yeah, press it and we'll give. Mine looks awful. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know, what should I do with it? <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Okay, just keep spreading it out. And then it's coming, just up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, okay. Now it's the difficult part. Okay, like this. Just throw, just throw it up. Okay, let me try. Oh, not bad, right? Not bad. Okay, there we go. Wow, look at that. I'm a, I'm a natural. I'm a natural. And then, whoa, how do you, should I do that? We're gonna add the, yeah. uh, the ingredients. Yeah, gonna add all these ingredients here. Combining spicy beef, quail eggs, bacon, and other ingredients that almost never appeared on a pizza before into a Chengdu hot pot, and then taking them out and putting them on a pizza. Although there are two different types of food, when combined together they're surprisingly great. More importantly, Tran Tran Pizza mixes Western and Eastern cuisines, which I think is the perfect blend of the two food cultures. So Abby, can you tell me where I can experience an authentic Chengdu nightlife? Right now we have a new spot, one thing. Okay, I'll go and check it out and cheers. 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 It's 8 p.m. here on Wangping Street. It's nearby the city center also and it is one of the must places that you must visit when you come to Chengdu. So I came to this place about two or three years ago and it's completely transformed since when I came here. Look at this place. Look at all the LED light. It looks like some kind of cyberpunk Future. Yeah, I mean, look here, someone's taking their wedding photos. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. So you can just see all the different types of things you can do here. I mean, look over here, we have some alcohol here that you can drink, food that you can taste over here. And this place, the road is quite narrow. It's only five meters long and a hundred meters in length. But this place is just hustling and bustling with life. It is an amazing place. I've never seen anything like it before. Hello, Nihao. Hatsuma. Hatsu. Some people just enjoying a hot pot there. Okay, so I hope that you've enjoyed this journey through Chengdu. And I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. But now, unfortunately, this brings me to the end of my trip. And now, I'm quite thirsty. I need a drink. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Mm. See you next time.
This is good weather for riding a bike. Hi everyone, I'm Joe. I'm from Oxford, England, and cycling is my passion. Now I'm in Chengdu, China, and I've been living here for more than three years. How about the cycling environment in this city? So today, I'm going to be doing a challenge to draw a circle around the whole of Chengdu because they recently opened a greenway, which at 100 kilometers is the longest greenway in all of China. Let's go. The world's first urban greenway was Boston's Emerald Necklace, built in 1878 with a total length of 16 kilometers. It connected a total of nine city parks. But now, Chengdu is conducting an even larger social experiment. It aims to build a park city. To date, it has constructed 5,000 kilometers of Tianfu Greenway, weaving its way through the urban environment. In order to help you understand how Chengdu is creating a bike-friendly city, I'm here with Bai Xi, the designer of this bridge. Hello, Bai Xi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Great. Okay. Bai Xi, born in the 1980s, is one of the designers of Tianfu Greenway. The Greenway is his own canvas, on which every garden, every bridge, and every bookstore is full of innovative design. I study also study in the Nokian University. Oh, really? Before, in the yeah, UK? Yeah, yeah. Oh, in I'm UK. from there. Oh, oh cool. really? Yeah, yeah. I have traveled a lot of uh, countries, yeah. both in England, Copenhagen. So, what what do you think? What's the difference between uh, UK's park and uh, so the, park the parks and yeah. the greenways in England, yeah. uh, sometimes yeah. they are very beautiful, but they're yeah. not as big. Yeah. I think in, uh, in Chengdu yeah. and it's in a China, huge system. just such a, yeah, a huge <laughs> system. And it feels like many big cities are connected yeah. by yeah. the greenways. Oh. <laughs> So it's nearly six meters. The greenway is 100 kilometers long, with roughly 20 kilometers of gentle uphill and 20 kilometers of downhill stretches. It's truly comfortable to ride. Chengdu is nestled on the largest plain in southwest China and is a veritable cycling paradise. Soon there will be a subway. and the road for cars side by side. And although it's noisy um, and I can hear lots of cars, soon I will go down there and I will just hear the sound of me and my bicycle. In Chengdu, there will be a park near every community or office building. Every park, along with bus stops and metro stations, will all gradually be connected through Tianfu Greenway, forming a huge pedestrian and cycling travel system. Just off the Greenway, this is one of the transfer points to the public transportation system. And I think this is one of the reasons many people in Chengdu like to uh, use share bikes. Because when they come here and they exercise, they get very, very tired. But then they can go up here and easily get home. This here is the BRT line and it just takes 25 minutes uh, to go all the way to Chunxi Lu. So it's very convenient and very good. So as you can see, in Chengdu, the conditions for riding bicycles is really good. But a lot of people don't actually own bicycles. That's why shared bikes are actually very popular because riding your bike to work or to go to the supermarket is not a way of showing off what you have, it's actually a way of life. Now, the average number of daily shared bike rides in Chengdu exceeds 1.85 billion. There are three bike share operators in Chengdu. Meituan alone reported a yearly reduction of 20,000 tons of carbon dioxide from 
bike share users, the equivalent of planting 1.96 million trees. However, since the bike share scheme arrived in 2016, many bicycle shops in Chengdu have been forced to close. I found something a little bit strange, a little bit unusual. This is a place where you can rent bikes for the day. This is not usual in Chengdu. Just 100. Yeah. Okay. You can try. Oh, it's so cool. Can mm -hmm. I try? Yeah. Well, wow, okay. Oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. And like this? Relax. Relax. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. So, when did you open this business? Last week. Really? Mm -hmm. And how is business? Is it busy every day? Very busy. Really? Yeah. How many people rent these bikes every day? 80. 80? Oh. 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 These kids are going 20 kilometers. I think it's great exercise for them. Over the coming years, Chengdu plans to build 16,000 kilometers of new greenway, such as the new greenway that encircles the entire city. More and more greenways can be used for long-distance cycling. So in the greenway, there are many stores, flower stores in the greenway, so you can buy some beautiful flowers after you finish your walk. Clothes shops here. What do you think? How about how can? Chengdu's thousands of kilometers of greenways stretch into every corner of the city, connecting the most frequent scenes of people's daily lives, such as going to work, Good. shopping and recreation. Now, Chengdu is no longer a concrete jungle. It is instead a living like organism dog. that changes and grows with each season. Uh, is a Oh. Pasta, bye bye. Let's go down to the lake and cook some noodles because I'm really hungry. Uh, here I have some noodles, some peanut butter, and some soy sauce. Jang yo. This is my stove. Yeah, it's just a small one. Many people watch me every day. I'm from England. My name is Joe. What's your name? How is it? Okay. So I think it's very fun to go outside and cook by yourself in nature. And the food, even if it's very simple, it tastes much better. Yeah, it's delicious. The time now is 13 minutes past five in the evening. We started at eight o'clock in the morning. So that means it's taken me about nine hours to go all the way around. Now, if you're a professional going very fast, it will take about five hours. But if you want to take it really slow, maybe 10 to 12 hours. For me, this is just a really great experience and it's wonderful having such a beautiful, long and comfortable ride in the city. What's uh, the riding like in your city? Please leave us a comment and let me know. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, this is Jeremy, welcome back. Today I'm here with my friend Chris. Hello everyone, I'm Chris. I'm from Mexico and I've been in Chengdu for one year and a half. Do you know why we're here today? Uh, not really, can you tell me? You know, uh, just a few days ago, there's a big opening ceremony uh, of Jiaozi Avenue. Actually, do you know what Jiaozi is? Is it money? Exactly. Or something related to that, right? I know this because I came from a finance major, you know. Uh, Jiaozi is actually the first paper currency that's okay. ever been used in China and even in the world. Oh really? Yeah. Today in this street there's some cool stuff. I would like to explore this with you. Okay. Uh, do you want to go sure. to check it out? Sure, let's go. Yeah.
This is one of the core commercial areas of Chengdu and will become the most visit place in this city. The launch of Zhaozi Financial Street will drive the customer flow of surrounding businesses. These shops on the street are not only mature brands that are popular all over the country and the first ones to enter southwestern China, but also some local high quality brands in Chengdu. Hello 整车的话它是全车是没有任何一个汉点的 嗯，是这样子的，就是我们就是成都的话，它其实是一个多元化的一个城市，包括我们的机车，它的一个文化，就是一直在蓬勃发展的。机车来说的话，现在在国内做新能源，包括就是纯电，真的是非常少的。这样
feel it. It's not bad. It's not bad. No. See? I feel it's really good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you got weirder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> So Chris, back to our main topic, Jiaozi. Uh, I think I would like to take you to that exhibition center uh, that's gonna tell us a little bit about the history of the paper currency. And let's go check it out. So before we get to the history of Jiaozi, the currency, this section is showing us how our uh, financial system has had been involved right now. Hey, Back in the day where you only have a wallet in the form of like money in the form of paper, right? And now they put money in different kind of wallet. For example, uh, the card. It looks like a, a bank card. Yeah. But actually it's it's more than that. And you can type in a password here. It's like a mini wallet and it contains money in it. This is the first time that I see something like this. I never uh, seen anything me. like this before. He's sending you Hong <laughs> Bao. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it's done with or without Wi-Fi connection. Yeah.以后的话，比如说我们手机卡是一种钱包形态，那它放在手机里边，就是在手机芯片那情况下，我们碰一碰就可以完成支付。Right。对，就是在手机里面。对，对，哎，哎，because it's a SIM card, it's a real SIM card. Okay. And it's also a wallet. Today, a thousand years later, the rise of digital currency is another great revolution in the history of mankind. Facilitating the arrival of the era of digital economy, it also shows the innovative application of digital RMB. Now it's become an invisible currency, a nice digital currency. Now let's go back to thousand years ago to the origin of the currency to check how it came into being. Wow, let me look at you. You're totally different now. Uh, do you know what kind of costume this is? Mm, no, no, not really. Dynasty. Yes, exactly. Okay. This is a traditional costume in Song Dynasty. So, uh, there used to be a street called Jiaozi Street uh, in Chengdu. It was said that this street is where the currency was firstly created. In 994 AD, this year is 700 earlier than Bank of England issued the first paper currency and 600 earlier than uh, Swedish bank, Stockholm Bank uh, issued the paper currency which is the first uh, paper currency in Europe. You can see like from the penny, it is a very famous penny in China, yeah, right? Really, really famous. The uh, busy and bustling streets uh, where people are busy making purchases. There's a night market right outside where we can show uh, the prosperity in modern time of Chengdu. Let's go. The emergence of Jiaozi in the Song Dynasty represented the prosperity of Sichuan's economy at the time. How busy was the night market in the Song Dynasty? I think I should know it when I look at the scene in front of me. There are so many people here and they're just... It, it was open like a few days ago and it was crowded every day. The reign of Jiaozi in front of us is the red bridge with Jiaozi as a design prototype, which is exactly the protagonist of the day. All right, finally we're here. Like, are you excited? Yeah, it, this place looks amazing. So this this is called Ring of Jiaozi. Okay. It's at the intersection of uh, Yizhou Da Dao and uh, Jiaozi Jiao Avenue. Da. People are saying if you look from uh, the above, look down, it looks like a hot pot. Oh, really? And you can see like a 
just a few, like 200 meters away, there's like twin tower, right? And it was like uh, the chopsticks of that hot pot. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. Let's go. Wow, looks so cool, right? It also looks like a huge coin. Oh, okay. it's, it represents like kind of currency. It really become a landmark of this city. The Red Jiaozi Bridge echoes the tall buildings next to it. The wavy curve makes it look like a dancing ribbon shuttling between the buildings, which is very flexible. In fact, after many years, what people can remember will be not only the bridge, but also the vitality and vigor of this era. Chengdu is a big city. It has a huge population of people. We're lucky to work in many industries, but many of the people work in office environments or indoors environments where there's not much natural light or perhaps not so much opportunity for exercise as we'd like. After living in China, in Chengdu for eight years, I've realized that my friends here, they really understand that a happy lifestyle is a healthy lifestyle. And it's not to say that working is a bad thing. But here in Chengdu, we understand that work, life, is a good balance. A healthy life in Chengdu starts with a good diet. So, a good meal, I prefer to do it myself, but in Chengdu now, there's so many places you can get this quality food for a healthy lifestyle anywhere you look. Anyway, after a good meal, you take a rest, and then we do something very important. We're gonna go for a run, and go for some exercise, because Chengdu is the park city, and we love it. Let's go. Coming outside, enjoying these spaces is a habit I've had for a long time now. Very soon, Chengdu is going to be hosting one of the next high-tech greenway wonderful runs here in the central park of Chengdu. Races like this, as we see all over the world, we see them in New York, we see them in London, we see them in Paris, where a beautiful green natural space is surrounded by the economic center of a world famous city, just as we have here in Chengdu. We were so lucky to have on our doorsteps, outside our houses, and right next to our working environment, all of these beautiful parks and uh, places we can come and walk, run, we can sit down in the grass, we can have fun with our friends and family and colleagues. You get to learn a lot about the place you live in as well. We can play basketball. You can go and speak to people. They're super friendly. Chengdu is investing massively in developing these opportunities for us inside the city to be connected to nature. So we've got facilities for children, we've got playgrounds. We've got facilities for young athletes. We've got lots of green running um, opportunities, competitions. We've got great clean air here. Um, and then as you get older, we've got exercise facilities next to where the kids play basketball. We're really lucky here to have an opportunity to enjoy both the benefits of a city and the benefits of nature close together. Hey. Hey. Ah. Hey. 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 Mm, 
最近列车员乘客都非常失望。海滨站一带是一片连绵的白色沙滩，变成了多少头啊？一带一带的好像。Hello， 大家好，乖哦。啊，你说话好好。好喜欢。这个叔叔一起打招呼好不好 ？Hello， 小妹妹，小帅哥，小帅哥，给我打一个嘛。嗨嗨。小妹妹，要不要画？那我可以送给老师吗？老师，肩膀，好嘞，<笑>好嘞，拜拜。Like after many a good run, we're gonna have a good stretch, have some water. And then we're really lucky because friends that aren't yet into running. Or sports outside, they can still come here. Hey guys! Hey! Hey! Thirty years old. Hey! 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 Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs>